Does the face recognition improve the face detection autofocus? That's all I want to talk about to you today. With face recognition you can register faces in the camera. That's not a pro feature, it's more a consumer feature. But I will show you in this video how to nonetheless improve your pro video. Face recognition is for labeling images and especially persons with a name and a birth. And you can register up to six persons or six by three photos of faces to get a better face recognition. This can be used for various things. First and foremost, it's more or less a thing of enhancing the automatic photo functionality, like the intelligent automatic mode. It is there to detect if a face of a known person is in the picture and to set automatic scenes for it. What happens when face detection is turned on? First, images are tagged with names or at least the faces are detected. Second, your face is focused in favor of other faces. That means when there are several faces on the video or on the photo, then your face, even though it's maybe in the background, is detected and the exposure of the image is set to your face so that your face is well lit and in focus. Let's just dig into the settings and let's register a face. How to register a face in a camera? First of all, you have to go into one of the automatic camera modes. I will choose the P mode for this. So you see here, there, the P mode. Then you will have to access the camera settings. On top here, you have the camera icon. So we go there. And what we want to go to is way down to the number 7 out of 8 here, page 7 out of 8. Here you can turn on and off the face recognition. This means it's activated or not activated. So by now I have it on and you can see here in the memory where our face is detected. So now I have registered my face here and let's just start registering a new face. Let's tap here and now let's just turn the camera around. So you see here there is a yellow rectangle to have your face in there and what you want to do is Set this image and just refocus, press yes and then we can give it a name, set it to Martin in this case. And set. Okay, age I, you can also set. You can also add various images of the person, so just try to have a, another expression. Press yes again. And maybe as we are in a more or less vlogging setup, it also makes sense to have maybe a, some sort of speaking so that the camera is also registering a your face when you're speaking and also can detect more like the speech related or spoken related face expressions. So that's it. You can also delete it. So you see here, for example, I have one setting for evening and indoor shooting, one here for daylight indoor shooting. Maybe it also makes sense to have a third registration for auto shooting or maybe even for low light situations where you don't have any lighting at all. And yeah, that's it. 
The camera is checking the registered face against the sensor data and tries to match faces. That's done by contrast, looking for a mouth, a nose and the eyes and try to detect the same kind of pattern. So that's also good to register your face from the sides. So not just use only one slot for registering your face maybe, but just like two or three. Try to have different expressions on your face like laughing, maybe bad mood, or maybe also just a generic, random, boring mood. This is the IA mode. And there it applies quite well. So I will show this to you. My face is recognized and it's showing the name underneath. And also the setting has changed here. So when I move this away, then you have like the IA mode. And when you put this in IA mode and your face is recognized, it automatically sets it to the portrait, intelligent portrait mode. So in combination with a, another color profile, for example, this should be quite okay, even though you don't have any control over exposure, shutter speed, ISO, and so on and so forth. But for an automatic setting, pretty well. I'm now switching to another setting here. So let's see, we just use one of my custom settings. In the intelligent mode, it showed the name. In this mode, it doesn't show the name. Why so? I don't seriously don't know, but um, I think it's somehow related to the fact that this is not a photo mode at all. But you can also set favorite phases. How to do that, I'll show you in a second. Go back to the program mode and Then we go back to the settings, face recognition, memory. And here you can also set the priority. Select the face to change the priority of face recognition. So if you've set just one face for face recognition, this is always the priority. If you've registered several faces, this then gets the highest priority when several of the registered faces are detected. Even though you have maybe unregistered faces, it will always take a look for your face to focus on and to set the exposure right for your face. One thing to bear in mind is that the face which is registered to the camera is not bound to custom settings. There's just a generic, general storage for faces and those are not been to various custom settings like C1, C2 or the manual camera mode. In some of the camera modes face detection is not available. That means for example when you're in the 4K burst photo mode or when you're on the automatic setting like cityscapes You see my face here has a yellow rectangle around it. That means that my face is prioritized and focused. So I can also now show you just as an example that it also takes other images for face recognition. It tries to focus. Works a bit less good because I have just a static image here. What you see now is my face is back again the image. It's focused and even though it's maybe in the background and smaller, it's prioritized. That means that my face, as I have registered it in the camera, will always have the priority over 
this person for example and will be in focus and if you're in automatic mode also best exposed. That's it. What are the pros? Obviously your face will be detected a bit faster and a bit more reliable. Another pro is that your focus will be set on your face in favor of other faces. And this also applies to the exposure of your face or the whole scene. You should set a Wi-Fi password. That's also mentioned in the manual. Because when you have biometric data and you have a name collect connected to it or a birthday, then you don't want any stranger to access this over unprotected Wi-Fi. So therefore, set the Wi-Fi password and use a strong password of course and then your biometric data will be a bit safer at least. Hope you liked it. See you soon. Till next video. Bye bye.